You also acknowledge that. Because I've well, also acknowledged yeah. that, you know, that one thing about the Charlottesville that, that, that I ranted about. Yes. What? And I was wrong. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so he's getting into the whole Charlottesville thing, right? The whole situation where um, the media portrayed like, oh, there's two good, there's good people on both sides, but they eliminate the, the part where he said Trump said, you know, I'm not talking about the white supr supremacists. They should be condemned completely, totally, right? So you know what? It's fine. You're changing history. You're changing culture. And you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. But you had many people in that group other than neo-Nazis and white nationalists, okay? And the press has treated them absolutely unfairly. Now, in the other group also, you had some fine people, but you also had troublemakers, and you see them come with the, with the black outfits and with the helmets and with the baseball bats, you got a, you had a lot of bad you had a lot of bad people in the other group too. Oh So I'm coming to you another video. We're doing a reaction video to Valuetainment. You know, I talked about Michael Rappaport on, on the Open Forum show, and here he is talking with PBD and the rest of the Valuetainment crew, talking about he was wrong, and talking about Trump and all this stuff. I don't know if he's fully red pill. We'll figure out here, because I haven't seen this clip. But, you know, I think he's still on the journey. I don't think he flipped the script just yet, I think, but he, it, I, th I, I definitely want to see this journey as far as his progression into, like, yo, the Democrats, maybe he's not going to vote for Trump, but at least he's not going to vote for the Democrats, and I hope that's at least the case. If he vote for Trump, obviously that's the biggest win, but um, I just want to see his journey, right? And we'll take a look at all what, what's going on here, right? And so, before all of that, if you're new to this channel, what is up? My name is Mitch, Maverick Mitch. Hey Mitch, Mitch, all the Mitches, the call sign Don, and pretty much I like talking about what I talk about. So, politics, pop culture, and everything in between, be sure to check out all those videos as you're finishing this video. I'm on my way to being remonetized, so do everything you can to help me out. Subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff, share. And yeah, with that said, let's roll it. One, one thing that I really disdain in the mainstream media, or even even media in general, even, even with you guys, or, or, or when people are talking politics, is if the other side or a president you don't like does something good, it's, it's never acknowledged. So I'm going to ask you this, because you could probably answer this better than me. What has the Biden administration done that you do like? Mm. First of all, the, the economy. Is so le let's take a pause there. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what what is some the question like? And I think I, I like this. You know, I think we should be able to be fair and objective and all that stuff, right? So the I, the, I, the question here is, what has Biden done um, that you actually can praise? And <laughs> um, you know, I I uh, like I want to be as generous as possible. Um, Nothing that comes to mind, right? Um, <sighs> and I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny about this. I'm actually trying to think. Let's see what PBD had to say, and then we'll, we'll take a, and we'll continue. Who is it good for, though? It's good for the rich guy. The people that are making money, they're doing good. That's you. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not, a, again, like I said to, said to Bill Maher, uh, guys like me are going to be good no matter who's the president. By the way. The more they print money, I'm always going to make more money. Mm -hmm. Because money always rolls up to the wealthy because the poor and middle income don't know how to keep it. They know how to spend it. The more they spend it, who do they spend it on? On capitalists that own equity. <laughs> and the equity people make money. So right now, if... And I would I would use it on the other side. Like obviously the left says would say something like, oh he got all he brought all of these um, trans people or whatever to the White House. But like we all know what happened then. But I would also say like... Him being in office is inadvertently making more Trump supporters, right? We we got to, you said Trump was the worst thing ever, and here we have Biden like putting money to two wars, open borders, um, inflation. You know, if there is a silver lining in all this, it's just showing how bad he is, right? And so that's my take. Maybe I can think of actual something that is not like a um, backhand, right? Praise for impact. You're gonna vote for Trump. And I'll tell you what, 
Uh, because you're. I don't know if I could do. I'll that. tell you why. <laughs> By the way, you're talking to somebody that was probably closer to your camp in 2016. And, and, oh, he was and, a fan. I just I hated. Like I never said hate. I didn't like Trump, but also, I would, also, I've never said the word hate. You can hate. roll the tape. Okay. Uh, I didn't like a lot of things he did. A lot of things you highlighted. For me, there was the, the the one that like I was like I can't do this. Was when he pretended like he didn't know who David Duke was. Everyone knows David Duke, leader of the KKK, is out there in Louisiana. I, okay, come on, you don't know who this guy is. But you're also a reasonable person, and you're also a dude. Like, you're a dude. You like to play ball. You like hip-hop. You like to talk shit. You're not a woke, LGBT, no. unicorn-type kid. That's you're not, not you. That's not you. No. So Okay, so I like where this is going, right? And, you know, the idea here that Adam is saying, like, you know, I, I'm, I'm a Democrat, like, or at least formerly Democrat or Democratic-leaning, you know? And so um, I'm in your boat type of thing, you're, but I'm not, like, a, like overt progressive and all that stuff and he's saying that he might Michael Rappaport is on that same but he might like up until now he probably had like the same level of TDS with Belmar right and so but he like what Michael Rappaport at least in these last within the year right he saw what was happening on Veterans Day weekend right when pro-Palestine people were taking down US flags UN flags on Veterans Day weekend. He didn't like that. He made a video about that, right? And then he saw the videos about like all of these migrants coming in and he's like, what are you doing? And then the one that he got pissed most about was when when the migrant was uh, beating up on the New York cops, right? And he's like, how are you doing this, right? And so like Trump is on the table. And so uh, again, I think he's getting there. He's not there yet, but I, I like this train of thought, right? You've seen what the left has produced over the last four years. Again, I'm telling you, somebody that's been in that camp, I'm a JFK Democrat. Mm -hmm. Why am I a JFK Democrat? Yo, if JFK was here today, like he would be a uh, conservative. Because my dad was a JFK Democrat. Uh, so that basically led to me being like, oh, JFK is the... J the JFK de Democrat no longer exists. I, like, that's the fact, like, they have... The, the Overton ship window has already shifted that... Those type of Democrats are conservative. Like, even if they don't think that they are. Democrat. That led to me liking Clinton. Right, right wing, at least. Not Maybe not conservative. Kissing babies, you know, getting blowjobs. Charming. Charming. That guy. I met Charming him. guy. Charming. We met him recently. Stone of a guy. His wife. Yeah, that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> but, because you've seen what happened under his first term. You didn't like it. He's the, you know, he's the pig dick. And he's got those mean tweets. And he's orange. But life was good. There was no wars. The economy was going good. But damn, he's, a, he's annoying to look at. But you also can acknowledge that the media had a major role in that. Uh, yeah, a that, major role that in that. When you take a step back. Yes. You also acknowledge that. Because I well, also acknowledge yeah. that, you know, that one thing about the Charlottesville that, that, that I ranted about. Yes. What? And I was wrong. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so he's getting into the whole Charlottesville thing, right? The whole situation where... Um, the media portrayed like, oh, there's two good, there's good people on both sides, but they eliminate the, the part where he said, Trump said, you know, I'm not talking about the white supre su supremacists, they should be condemned completely, totally, right? So you know what? It's fine. You're changing history, you're changing culture, and you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. But you had many people in that group other than neo-Nazis and white nationalists, okay? And the press has treated them absolutely unfairly. Now, in the other group also, you had some fine people, but you also had troublemakers, and you see them come with the, with the black outfits, and with the helmets, and with the baseball bats. You, got a, you had a lot of bad, you had a lot of bad people in the other group too. Wow, go, with, go to that quick, and yo, like, again, that was 2017, right? Like, and they are, st like, if, I don't know when Michael Rappaport saw that video, but that's seven years ago, right? And, and, and to, this is how strong the media is, the mainstream media, legacy, corporate media, has been in these minds of these people who are at the Trump, TDS, that you never even got to see the full clip. And here Michael Rappaport saying like, whoa, I didn't even see that, right? I don't know, and like, that has to be recently, right? Like, bro, bro, see, this is why people, like, mm. And I respect the shit out of Wait, let me, let me hear about it. Hang on. Yeah. Go, go a little bit more. Wow. Wrong on that. Wow. Because he said that the both sides, you know, there's good people on both sides, and when you see the full quote, yeah, yeah. that wasn't what, what he said. Wow. And, and you know, I, I, 
ramped it on him hard for that. Mm -hmm. Hard. There's some video about it, whatever. I wow. Because I was like, what are you are talking about, man? Because you got played. And here's what the re this is why I think you're going to vote for Trump. It's because you, much like me, much like many people, independent thinkers, not the sheep, realize we kind of got played a little bit. Yes, Trump ain't exactly the smoothest character. He's not, He's not Jesus Christ. <laughs> But he actually, his policies and who he has around him are way better than what's going on there. And here's my final point. You see what's going on with the border. You see yep. what's going on with the wokeness. You see what's going on with culture wars. And you see what's going on with actual wars. Yeah. Specifically, you see who the, the Democrats have exposed their hand. Especially the progressive left. You see what's going on. Calling you out, Democrats. Where you, where are you at? Like... I, I, like, some of y'all are in the head of the sand. I've seen some of my more progressive friends. All they talk about is the pa pro-Palestine, stuff like that. But, like, where are the normal, normal people? You know, like, you can discern what's going on. Are, are, are y'all voting for Trump? What's going on between Israel and Gaza? You have three Star of David highs on your chest right now. Highs. And as someone who is a proud New Yorker your whole life, you see what the Democratic Party has turned into. This D-E-I-E-S-G, yeah. woke manifestation of ridiculousness, intersectionality, decolonialization, you're looking at that and you say, you know what, as much as I can't stand big dick Donald Trump, you said it. at least he's fucking normal. At least he doesn't want to turn my boy into at a girl. At least he's normal. Well, yeah. Yes. You, 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 wow. Wow. We are in the point in this culture war, in this Trump derangement um, syndrome that we're calling Trump normal. <laughs> what? Like, obviously, as someone who's MAGA, as someone's right wing, that that's like that's kind of like been my case. Sure, he is abrasive. Sure, he's that tough guy. Sure, he's um, you know, he, he's narcissistic. You know, you got his name on the board, billboards, and all that stuff, and towers. But you gotta be if you're a CEO. You got all this stuff, and and, and you, you, he, he, we we don't mind that he has all of. We don't mind the mean tweets, right? If he gets a job done, right? And here we have. People who are formally, what I would say, formally TDS, but uh, walking it back or at least like normaling it out, right? Calling Trump normal. Calling Trump normal. I think in 2024, it, what, what was wrong in 2020, if you said you voted for Trump, you had to do it secretly and you had to be like, you were like, if you voted for Trump, like you must be the worst person in the world for voting for Trump. But... In 2024, I think a lot of people can get away with, well, I'm voting for Trump. And people be like, whereas in 2020, like, whoa, you're crazy. To be like, hmm, well, again, I, I, well, I don't agree with you, but I, I get it. You know, we are at, whoa, that, like, I want to turn my totally down. changing it up. At least he's defending Israel, not the fucking terrorists. And at the end of the day, I'm a reasonable person. Yeah. So, like you said initially, I think I'm going to consider this. Oh, it's, I'm considering it. Yes. But to pull that, well, I don't know, we don't pull <laughs> levers anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Actually pull that lever. Yeah, but pulling the but, lever for Biden. And, the, and then I'm, not, pulling, no, I'm going to tell okay. you right now, I won't vote. I'm not voting for Biden. No. I'm not voting for Kamala. I'm not. <laughs> no, but then you okay, talk pause. Okay, cool. I, 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 so, so far, so good. I will take this win as, as it is right now. You know, that like he's not going to vote for Biden. Michael Rappaport is not going to vote for Biden. I'm not going to vote for Kamala, right? I can take that. I can take that. Like, obviously, do I want him to vote for Trump? Yes, absolutely. MAGA 2024, right? Trump 2024. However, if I will take not voting in this election, I will take that. I will take that win, but I would like the plus up, right? We need every vote in Trump 24 because the Democrats will do every part in the machine. And so, roll it. Oh, shit. And you need well, to be able to talk well, to well, them. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So, so you're saying, so for you... I won't vote for them. So no matter what, that decision is that fine. That ain't happening. Okay, no, I'm not, not, that's not happening. Who, what? For no, Kamala, Kamala, I'm not voting for Kamala. Wow. Anybody. Wow. Anybody else? What about Michael? What about anybody for the What, 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 what he's saying is... Cool, cool. Saying There's is. nobody. I'm saying, like, Kennedy? what if Gavin Newsom or one of these cats pop up? Gavin? I just... California. I'm not voting for Gavin with good hair. I love that. I love Gavin with good hair. Just like that. Fuck out of here. So Mike, here's my thing. I'm not a sucker. Okay. <laughs> love they love, love his them. ass. They like his hair. <laughs> Why do you say you're not a sucker? What does that mean? Because I lived, I, I just moved out of Los Angeles. Okay. I'm, it's not happening, man. Explain that. For the, those of the people that have never lived in LA, why the hell, you've been there for 20 plus years, why the hell did you move out? 
Yeah, why did you move out? I wanted to go to New York. I didn't move out for any oh, okay. reason. I wanted to move back to New York full time. That's why I left. But the I feel like he's a very New York on spirit. Top, the, 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 the homelessness in New York in sorry in Los Angeles and in California, San Diego, San Francisco. I could speak on those those places. Sacramento is so but particularly in Los Angeles. In Cal in, in, in the Los Angeles area is 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 unacceptable. It's it's scary. It's um I don't know the, the, the how to fix it. It's 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 unacceptable. It's um not safe, it's not sanitary. Um I know California and Los Angeles is a driving city, but I do like to walk. When you walk, you shouldn't feel uh, uh, um just uncomfortable by hordes and hordes and hordes of homeless people. It's not good for them. It ain't good for me. It ain't good for. It's not good across the board. And the taxes suck. Uh, the <laughs> homelessness and and how it went, you know, down so bad so quickly. Um, and the crime. All right. So the clip ends there. I'll probably watch the full on on podcast and everything. But and I'll link this particular clip in the description. And everything. So final thoughts. Um, again, it's kind of like what I said in the beginning. You know, I don't think. You know, Michael Rapport um, definitely is not voting for Democrats. He said it outright, right? He's not voting for uh, a Newsom, even if they change it from a Biden, Kamala type of a ticket, right? And I don't know how he feels about Michelle Obama if she does pull that trigger, whatever. But, you know, when it comes to Trump, right, he's, he says Trump is on the table, right? When it came to, like, the migrants hitting, the, the attacking the New York cop, it's on the table, right? He's not there yet. He's not fully MAGA yet. Or at least he's not voting for Trump just yet. But I think we have so many more months ahead of us. And I think he will, right? And, and he's in a right, like perfect position, right? Not only with like the um, Hamas, Israel type of thing, and I think that's going to play a large role going into, like, I don't think we're going to get a BLM moment. I think we're going to get more of a pro-Palestine moment this year. Like, they're going to capitalize, like, the pro-Palestine, once it's going to be summer, I think we're going to hit that versus a BLM moment, and he's, he's definitely not going to like that. And obviously, there's a lot of escalations that's going around in the world. And so, I think he will very much pull the trigger for voting for Trump. And I think the next best argument that someone could say is, like, a vote for not Trump is a vote for the Democrats because they're going to do something like ballots or whatever the machine, you know, because they definitely do not want Trump in. So like every vote towards Trump is a vote like that the Democrats need to fight against. Right. And so we'll leave it there. I, I, am, I I'm really surprised. Right. I'm really surprised that he was willing to say I'm not going to vote for the Democrats. I was surprised that he was talking about the Charlottesville type of thing. And so all of that was really good. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to like seeing this journey. Right. Because, again, this is an indication of where the mindset of people are, right? People who are never Trumpers, people who have TDS are walking it back, right? And I think this is, one, really good for the country, and two, like, like obviously, Trump 2024, right? And so, I'll leave it there. Um, really great exchange. I, I, I should definitely watch the rest of the podcast, but... If you like this video, comment below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what your friends are talking about. I really want to know what what is going out in the rest of the world, in the rest of the nation, whatever, with your circle of friends and wh what's going on with their mindset, especially the Democrats, right? And then the, the progressives and whatever. And so, yeah, comment below. And so, if you like this video, hit that like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on my Instagram at HeyMitchMitch. I'm also on Twitter, MaverickMitch. And see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace, peace, peace. Be with you. Ecomospirito tuo.